I have a feeling. What? Every case is probably going to end like the first one did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We have one place left to go. Oh, wait, no. RNM Associates does not have a clown. Uh,. Occasionally, special somatic scenes marked by an exclamation mark will pop up on the map screen. So something new is happening. We're going to have to start setting up for D&D soon. The... Well, just wait a second. Like, Here's the thing. I wrote down the new day. It's like not even 6 o'clock. These yeah, cinematic it's scenes, not even 5. Barely. These uh, cinematic scenes are only available for one day before disappearing, but they take no time to visit. Ooh. They're viewing time. So we might as well. A cutscene. R and M Associates. Le loop. Oh, le loops. Doggies. So we can just. Storm is brewing, my brother. I have no idea who these people are. While assassination attempt has spread. Our plan has failed. Proletariats grow confident. The bourgeois are cowering. It's that Mr. Marks fellow. It won't be long before we have rioting. Wolves. They're lupins. And Get it right, sir. Dun dun. They seem a little evil. No, they're just fighting that Marks guy. He's a total tool bag, you know. Right. So you want to see R and M Associates? I mean, I hear Carl's an all right man. <clears throat> oh. Oh, Brian. Oh, customers. Uh, hello? Is this the office of Reynald Wolpes? Ah. Ah, it's you two. Now see, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, this is where I work. Ta-da. See, R&M, Reynard, and Mousy. Monsieur Reynard, uh, Wolpes, and I carry out all sorts of investigations together. <laughs> Although, to be completely honest, it's normally Mr. Wolpes who chooses which case to take on. <sighs> Mr. Juan just happens to be one of the investigators here. Ta-da! What a quinky dink. Well then, can we speak to Monsieur Wolpes? Oh, I'm afraid that won't be possible. See, Mr. Wolpus is on vacation now. He's visiting his father in England. I wonder who the guy in the prison is. <laughs> He's on vacation in a cell. I'm so baffled. And... But he is set to return in a week or two. Maybe you can come back then. That's and see enough. his hung corpse. Did I uh, say that? The prince will be in prison before then. And hanged, most likely. Yes. There's nothing to be done about it. I suppose we'll have to come back later. Hmm. It's Le Allee or Le Conciergerie. We have one day left. All right. Let me say one thing. What if the poison actually had uh, psychoactive properties causing him to hallucinate, thus go crazy? You're thinking too deeply. Yeah, I'm thinking there was no poison on the rose. The dog just ate chocolate, which is bad for them. Yeah. yeah. Let's go to Le Halls. Then why is the associate guy crazy? Our heroes arrive at Le Halls Marketplace. Yeah, like... Flower lady! Vendors and buskers, performers and thieves, bourgeois and peasants all bustle from place to place. Up from place to place. Prince Juan said that he met a flower girl here. Signe. I think he said her name was. There's a swan with flowers over there. Yep, you called it. Yeah, <laughs> boy! Lat da -da -da. roots! Woo! Sorry. Continuing. Do you think that's her? I think so. It's possible that she knows the murderer. Or even if she is the murderer herself. So we should probably act with tact and finesse. Speaking to a lady. Hey, ho, flower lady. Like, word with you, little bridge. Huh? Tact, Sparrowson, tact! We've been over this! Good day, monsieur. Oh, no, Brian. Oh, are you interested in purchasing a flower? Yes. I wish to purchase a rose from milady. Milady, tips Trilby. <laughs> oh, Julian Salty! You got Trilby you're gonna put on for us? 
Asshole. A tip and froze. Don't forget to tip your fedora. <laughs> We're out of roses. I <laughs> sold my last one a week ago. Perhaps you would be satisfied with a chrysanthemum instead. It is a beautiful flower from a fair. Oh. <laughs> oh. This is birds talking about bird Brilliant. things. Please don't mind Sparrowson. He fell out of his nest as a baby and has said dumb things ever since. Hey. Let me introduce myself. I am JJ Falcon, defense attorney. Are you Mademoiselle Signe? That's right. Catherine Marie Signe. I suppose you're here to ask about the royal assassination attempt. Yep. How did you know? I am no fool, monsieur. I know that a rose I sold was used as a murder weapon. Why aren't you in the jail? To be honest, I'm surprised it's taken so long for someone to directly question me. Parisian police seem to have a habit of missing obvious leads. So, do you mind if we ask you a couple questions? Business is slow. Please, ask away. Who bought your last rose? Uh, excuse me. Ahem. Mademoiselle, you mentioned that you sold your last rose a week ago. Who did you sell it to? Uh, the person who bought the rose. I didn't catch the name, but he was a charming red fox. Ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Sounds just like Mr. Juan. I met him around a week ago, on the 6th. Womp, we womp. talked for a little while about the usual things, you know, like how everyone seems to be in debt these days. <laughs> 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 then he bought a rose and left. <laughs> I hear that fox is on trail. To be honest, uh, monsieur, I don't think he's guilty. Oh, why is that? Well, actually, never mind. It's just a gut feeling. Liar! <laughs> Liars everywhere! We're probably going to implement her and get her guilty. It's because of games like this that I'm paranoid about yep. everything. Yep. And yep. everyone. We're, yep. We're, yeah, we're probably going to get her guilty and thrown in jail. She's in cahoots with the mouse. Pressure her. Mademoiselle, it just so happens we're defending this particular fox in the Cœur d'Assise. In the court system. Uh-huh. How about that? If you, happen, if you say, so, have something to say that could prove his innocence, now would be the best time to let us know. Hmm. I'm sorry, Mrs. I can't. She's been coerced by the prosecutors not to say anything. Wait, Mademoiselle Signe, wait up! Damn. Nice display of tact and finesse, Falcon. You scared Milady off. <laughs> One obviously knows something crucial about the case. We need to get the bottom of whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. but I don't think she'll be in the mood to tell us anything else. I know. Why don't we try acting with a little more? We don't tact have a and next time. Next time. Hush. Ding ding. Fucked. Do 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 do. Oh. No. There's only one place left to go. Back to the concierge. Yep. Or the chocolate emporium is a re is a red herring. Hmm. Maybe. You got that or... all written down, Brian. You know what? Actually, we could confront the confront the fox about it at any time. Why don't we ask the chocolate emporium about the swan? All right. Brian. Welcome back, Messrs. Have you finally decided to sample decide sample of my fine chocolate? Or perhaps you've just returned to ask me more questions. I mean, I'll totally just eat your chocolate. Man. <laughs> No, no, control yourself, Sparrowson. It is just the, uh, it is just the questions today. I'm afraid. Mumble, mumble. Who bought this piece of chocolate? Let me think. Who to ask about? Signe. Signe. Oh, it's two people we haven't Signe. seen. Oh snap! Is there anything on Signe. the next page? No. Okay. Do we encounter the boar? Oh, <laughs> Rufus and Paul. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Signe. You have a se sort of flower selling swan named Catherine Marie Signe? No, Monsieur. Hmm. Oh, that's you. Sorry. Um. Hmm. 
When he was busy tapping the mic with his forehead. Ah! So, Falcon, what you thinking? Not sure, to be perfectly honest. If she were the ch chocolate fiend, then our investigation would have become much simpler. And she's not. Let me think who to ask about. Okay, no. how about the huntsman? No, the person in the upper left hand corner. Ah, the art. He the said he wasn't strength. around. But Who maybe, cares? Maybe well, he's lying. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Maybe he lied about it. <laughs> the art guy. Porcupine not a fish in any Eric Park? No, monsieur. One last question. Um. Probably not mm. him. Uh, Probably not Rufus and Pole. Ask him about himself. I don't know. Really? It doesn't not make... like the prosecutor or anything? Fine, just ask the prosecutor. Fine, fine. Eh. Give ourselves the cockerel with a ludicrously good posture named Savory and Cocorico. No, monsieur. Yeah. Monsieur, I am growing tired. Of and and get the fuck of out of my shop. And yep, this spiel again. Ring. Bye bye. Uh, bing, bing, I think bing, this is it. Bing. Hit the lock and surgery. Lock and surgery. Just go. Just go. Actually, it means we can go to any of these places. Yeah, go to lock and surgery. We You've never been to the Palace of Justice. We can go to. Well, that's that's the courtroom. Oh yes. We can go to any of these places and not trigger a new day, surgery. basically. Why did you? Why go there? did we do that? Why? Brandon, reload the save. We weren't supposed to go here yet. We were supposed to go and confront the fox in the jail cell. Fine, fine. Wait, do we not have a load? Well, no. We don't need to confront the fox. Uh, You're feeling nervous, aren't you, Falcon? Of course. Yes. Of course I'm nervous. What have we learned about Prince Juan? What do we know about the real murderer? Nothing! He's not a real prince. Easy there, Falcon. We can do this. No, you can't. Doesn't even look Senior like Falcon, I trust everything is in order! Absolutely. I have every intention of bringing the truth to light in the trial. Ah, oh, such confidence! That's magnificent to see! And bring the truth to light, you say? An admiral goal! No more jousting at imaginary giants. We All you see is your hammering. The door is opening. Here we go! Buena suerte, Senor Falcon. <coughs> we will. Whoop. Are we ready? I'm ready. Oh, I'm He's totally guilty anyways. <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> this is Phoenix right, I love it. JJ. Nervous? Why should I be nervous? I'm not nervous. I'm as calm as a cuckoo. You're the nervous one. The whole courtroom is nervous! Whoa. Cool your feathers, Falcon. Hmm. Terrible. You can't even maintain a stoic facade. I thought what this trial would be the perfect opportunity for you to redeem your previous embarrassments. Nope. But if this is how you act before the trial has even started... Pompous tailed posture perfect. Oh. Wait, this is a different order! Time. Order! Let's settle down. Court is now in session. Psst, Falcon. Is it me? Or does the primary judge look hairier today? Wasn't he like kinda like an elephant last time? No, it was an an ibis. Oh, you skipped it. Damn you. No, it just looked at him. That was a different judge to the one who raised over, resided over Dame Catherine's trial, you doofus. Oh. Still, it's a little strange, isn't it? Really? I actually kind of thought it was really. a little strange. There's a do there are a dozen dozens of judges in Paris alone. It only makes sense that we see different ones in different cases. <laughs> yup, yeah. that wolf cutscene though, you, you you borked. Yeah. Didn't investigate that cutscene. That, that wolf was probably was one of the guys in the cutscene. Props. Indeed. But it's irrelevant. 
Excuse me, Your Honor. I was under the impression that Judge Maxine would be residing over this case. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? Judge Maxine is gone temporary sick leave due to a terrible accident with a flight of stairs. <laughs> he was eaten. <laughs> His name is Romulus. Wow. Y yeah. Jesus Christ. But rest assured. Could you bid any less prosecutor defense blunt the members of the with jury. your reference? <laughs> <laughs> I am more than qualified to fill his shoes. Getting going some Roman theme here, huh? Huh? Without further ado, let's get the show underway. This is the trial of Prince Juan Cierdo, who stands accused of murdering Major Howe and conspiring to murder the king himself. All right, so do you think this wolf is in, like, league with Juan? Probably not. All right. Brian? Roll call! Would you think the same thing? Maybe. The defense is present and ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Good. Very good. I expect this to be a nice, speedy trial. I don't want this dragged out by technicalities and bureaucracy. Well said, Your Honor. I expect, once the court sees the overwhelming evidence, this trial will be over in five minutes. We'll oh, here there. we go again. Five minutes?! He's just messing with your head. Falcon, keep it together. So we're all on the same page. Excellent. Prosecutor, please call your first witness to the stand. Very well. I called the police officer who investigated the crime scene. I oh, called upon ho, ho, ho. Inspector. Just volarity. Current character. Step up to the stand, Inspector, and recite the oath. I'll take the Inspector for this time. Okay. I mean, you'd still be talking to him as Falcon. I know, but whatever. We're, someone's <laughs> going to be talking to him. Oh, there's <laughs> three of us. 